Sleep tight weather view shows us ducks in a pond off of R.J. Peters Drive in Quincy, and they're just having a great time. They don't care that the skies have been gray all day, that slight breeze that we had earlier, but Michael, you're joining me now, and... Uh, hey, now, wait a minute. We saw some sun out there today. Well, a little bit of sun, but you it wasn't the greatest amount. You're painting with a broad brush there, my friend. It was, it was, you know, a partly cloudy sky for part of the day anyway. And, you know, the ducks looked like they were having fun. They really did. And uh, you know what? Not so much tomorrow, because we're going to have a little chance for some wintry precipitation to move in across the area. As we zoom in on the radar view across North America, at least the lower 48 here, you can see some rain out west over the Rockies and some rain showers down over Arkansas and Tennessee. Some of that moisture is sliding northeast, but overall the pattern will be for some of that to bubble up into Missouri as we go through the nighttime hours arriving, maybe even in the tri-states here by late tonight, first thing tomorrow morning. Currently, though, no precip around the Quincy area or the tri-states. We have partly cloudy skies generally, and temperatures are in the 30s. Increasing clouds tonight, though, late tonight into tomorrow morning especially. There will be a slight chance for a light wintry mix across the area. Now, I can't pinpoint for, you know, exactly what's going to fall from the skies in Hannibal or what's going to fall up in Keokuk. I can only tell you that the chance is there for a variety of light precipitation types from some sleep pellets to some snowflakes at times to a little light rain to maybe a little light freezing rain down towards Pittsfield. It just depends on how it's all going to work out. But right now, just know that a mixed bag could develop across parts of the area late tonight into tomorrow. Now, as we go through the day, tomorrow temperatures warm up, changes all to rain by the afternoon. Whatever is falling should change to all rain. And then by Friday, more rain in the area, about a 40%, 50% coverage of some rain pushing through as we head through much of Friday. For now, though, temperatures are generally near 30 degrees. We have 28 up in Keokuk, 32 here in Quincy, with some 20s and 30s over the far eastern viewing counties. Out at the airport here in Quincy, locally, 32 degrees with a partly cloudy sky. The winds are light, and they have been the last couple of hours. Out of the north right now at 3 miles per hour. Temperatures, generally speaking, in the 30s from Quincy north down to the south into the boot heel and back towards the Ozarks. We have some 40s for you out in Springfield, Missouri. It's 45 degrees with some high clouds and across much of southern Missouri this hour. We have some more clouds upstream here out over the central plains. A lot of this is going to spill eastward as we go through the night ahead. We're also going to get some clouds building from the south up to the north. As high pressure loses its grip on the area, it pulls away from the region. We get this moisture building up by 730 tomorrow morning. You can see some pinks, greens, and even some whites here indicating a mixed bag arriving across the region. And that will be the same story as we go on through the afternoon. Should change over to whatever it is that was in the morning to all rain in the afternoon. Can't rule out some snowflakes, though, mixing in from time to time as well. Not looking for too much from the system, but the clouds hang tough tomorrow evening. What we could see in spots are some slippery roads later on tomorrow, so keep that in mind as you drive around the tri-states. 20s for lows tonight, somewhere near 27 down in Hannibal for a low. Tomorrow we'll take temperatures on up into the 30s, a little bit cooler than we were today. So tonight we'll look for a low of 25 in Quincy here with clouds building in and a slight chance for that wintry mix late. Tomorrow a better chance with clouds and a high of 36 degrees here in Quincy tomorrow afternoon. So we'll be just above that freezing point of 32 degrees with that moisture moving in as well, and that's why we'll get the slight wintry mix chances across the area. For Friday, it's all rain because temperatures warm into the 40s. By Saturday and Sunday, we have ourselves some dry weather, partly cloudy skies on Saturday, David, with windy conditions, highs in the low 40s. More of the same with a uh, less windy uh, feel, I think, on Sunday, but more clouds around. 40s again on Sunday. So not a major system tomorrow. No reason to go out and buy the bread and the uh, butter and the milk and all that stuff but it will be something we want to pay attention to as we go through the day tomorrow. All right, thank you very much, Mike. Mm -hmm.